deep inside right now because we are seeing some showers really across southeast Louisiana popping up in different spots. Still a little dreary outside too. Yep. You look so much better now than you did yesterday. Why? Because I had face paint everywhere? Your Facebook photo was disturbing. You look so, <laughs> so scary. I was Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And, the, and the makeup was scary. excellent, but just, it looked scary. I was so proud of my daughter, though. She did her own makeup this year for the first time. Excellent. That's a big step forward. Well, sorry we had some showers on Halloween. <laughs> showers are still in place right now, but they are diminishing somewhat. WDSU first warning radar. You know, WDSU is the only TV station that has its own live local radar. Bet you didn't know that. Well, it's true. Now, here's some showers that are going to be moving into the North Shore next half hour or so. Looks like Hammond, Ponchatoula, seeing a little bit of that rain. And yes, you see it right there. One lightning strike. So technically, I guess we have to call that a thunderstorm. More showers that affecting Thibodeau, Raceland, Lockport. Cutoff looks like the showers are going to be passing through your area in the next 10 minutes. Our temperatures now with the rain cooled in a lot of spots. 74 in Hammond. 79 officially at the airport, 81 in Bogalusa. Speaking of the airport, we picked up about a half an inch of rain there, but in some locations, much more than that. Coming up at 1230, I'll show you some of the rainfall totals. That include everything that fell yesterday and today. 79 degrees our temperature right now, officially at Louis Armstrong International Airport. Bit of a breeze, and it will be a touch breezy, I think, over the weekend. Winds right now from the east at 9 miles per hour. We have kind of a mid-level disturbance that's helping to produce the rain, but as low pressure is going to be developing to the west of us, this front is going to be moving farther to the north. That means things are going to be a little bit warmer for us over the weekend. We'll be back in the mid-80s, but we should be mainly dry, especially Saturday and Sunday. Once we get to the afternoon Saturday, those clouds are going to be breaking up significantly. Now, at first glance, you would say, well, there's nothing going on in the tropics. We have some disorganized cloudiness close to Puerto Rico. Now, the National Hurricane Center is actually watching two areas of cloudiness. This one in the Caribbean has a 70% chance for development over the next seven days. We're going to watch this one. It's nothing right now. Then a small chance for development with this system. I was looking at some of the long-range computer models. And if you're somebody that goes on the internet and you like to look at that stuff, you like to look seven, eight, nine, ten days down the road, there's one system that actually has these two areas of low pressure kind of combining into one, making their way toward the Yucatan Peninsula. Long range stuff right now, very, very iffy. A lot of models doing a lot of different things. Nothing for you to worry about right now, but we'll be tracking it for you, obviously. All right, let's take a look at the rain. Scattered showers in place right now, diminishing by the mid-afternoon. Once we go from 3 to 6 o'clock right here, still a few showers in place, but I think by 9 o'clock, most of the rain should be done. Clouds beginning to break up a little bit. There's that easterly wind still at about 5 to 10 tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll start in the mid-60s, I think, on the North Shore, close to 70 everywhere else. And we will have plenty of sunshine once we get to the afternoon. Clouds will be on the decrease. You do see one or two showers showing up here. The chance for rain less than 10%. Sunday should be a repeat performance. Again, we're picking up on a little bit of cloudiness in one or two showers. I don't think it's going to be overly foggy, either Saturday or Sunday. Maybe some patchy fog, but it should not be a big concern. And then Sunday afternoon should be mainly dry. High temperature in the mid-80s. Might be seeing a few showers in the afternoon as we get into next week. So mostly cloudy for the rest of this afternoon. Showers gradually diminishing with a high temperature in the low to mid-80s. Not a lot of sunshine this afternoon. Mostly cloudy, still a stray shower possible tonight, but that's mainly early in the evening. Then decrease in cloudiness for your Saturday. A little bit on the breezy side, high temperature back into the mid 80s. We stay in the mid 80s again on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, 20% chance for showers. It will be a little bit breezy, but temperature is still well above normal. Actually, 10 degrees above normal if we get to the mid 80s. That's your WDSU first warning forecast. All right, Jim. Well, my garden could.